I've just found myself being more fulfilled when my attention is going on to the work that I'm doing with the clients rather than the work on building an agency. And so as the CEO or founder, that's where a lot of your time and energy goes into. So that makes sense that this gave more ease to your model. Yep. What allowed for the growth, would you say? Yeah, so the growth was also through those 10 minute and 20 minute calls where I'm, where I'm um, evaluating, you know, what do they need? How could I help them the most? Um, that all of a sudden, you know, listening to them and bringing them into the pain of what their challenge was, uh, what was stopping them or challenging them, um, and then being like, oh my gosh, I have the answer. I, I actually do that. Did you know I do that? Do, do you want help with that? And so all of a sudden, you know, I'm able to, you know, get them as a consultant. And all of the time that I was using to manage other people's time was now just going into my client. And therefore, I was able to charge more for Todd's time and getting them more results that was more cohesive and helpful for the entire brand rather than just the one piece that I was so focused on before. Makes makes sense, right? It's, uh, um, you know, and just to be clear, for those that have agencies out there, that this is the path that was best for Todd. You yeah. know, someone else, you know, because as you grew the agency, if that was still the plan, uh, but obviously this was the thing that was best for you and, and congruent with your heart's desire, yeah. other folks might uh, do other things. Like there's other systems that could be put in place. Like you could have hired a project manager. So you're no longer managing those projects and, and da da. but you know, that would have still brought you to be the consultant because then if somebody else is managing those projects, then you would still be determining what are the right projects and then handing those off. And actually you're still doing that now, but you're just handing them off to a different company. So you yeah. don't even have to manage that. You're just saying, Hey, you do need a website. Here's what I suggest. Here's the best team go for it. Yeah, absolutely. And, and thank you for reframing that. Um, I, I've, I've just, found myself being more fulfilled when my attention is going on to the work that I'm doing with the clients rather than the work on building an agency. And so as the CEO or founder, that's where a lot of your time and energy goes into building a wow team, finding the right people for the right job and making sure that they're fulfilled and making sure that they're able to grow in the company. That takes a lot of energy. And um, at this, you're right, at this point in my life, taking that energy and refocusing it and putting it on my clients uh, was much more fulfilling for me at the time. And for, that's the key word, the fulfillment, because yeah. somebody else like you, but not you, would actually love building the business. That might yep. be their goal, their mission. And that's why there are very successful agencies that enjoy building an agency. Yep. And then there's folks that want to use their knowledge to be hands-on with the clients. And that's what you're choosing and uh, doing both uh starts to split us and then that's why then we're like living in like well, how many hours are we putting in because i live that too you know like you're you're built you're doing the business and then you're 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 building the business and and just like two full-time jobs and and that yeah. uh then takes away from our life and we're both fathers and husbands and and friends with other other human beings and we want to live and you could completely be consumed and not have any more life past your agency. Now it doesn't mean that you can't run an agency and both of you, both you and I, I mean, both you and I can, uh, hands down, we've learned so much. If we were to build, uh, you know, our agencies up again, we would do it totally different. <laughs> totally I, I know different. I would because yep. of all the things yep. that I've done. And now I've helped a lot of other marketing companies take all of the the things. And I, I know for me, my uh, what calls from my heart is teaching. Like, I, yep. I mean, I'll, I'll tell you just a quick story. And I want to bring it back to another question for you. When I, uh, I, when I first got asked to speak, we were winning awards with some of our campaigns. And we were the number six viral ad in the world in 2007. We did 44 million impressions in three weeks, 3 million unique visitors. And then we tripled the client's revenue in 12 months. And I was anticipating the campaign to do well, but I didn't even know it was going to go that well. And that resulted in me getting speaking opportunities. 
And the first one I did was in Las Vegas, 500 people. And I was not a speaker. In fact, I sat behind a table. I uh, figured that I did have a uh, high energy like I have my whole life, but I was freaked out about speaking in front of people. Right. And so I'm there and I'm sitting there just a- a- doing that. And it was mostly Q and a, cause I didn't know what the heck to do, but what happened? It wasn't even that part of the story that changed my life. It was six months later. I'm at another event. A woman that I don't know comes up to me and she's crying and she hugs me and I'm like, hello. And she says, you don't know me. And I said, I know. And then she said, I, my husband and I saw you speak six months ago in Las Vegas. And, um, and the reason I'm here and I'm emotional is because my husband and I both retired. We put all of our life savings into a business and it was failing. And Vegas was our last ditch effort to turn it around. And what you taught uh, we were able to turn the corner and now not only are we surviving, but we're on the road to thriving. And, and I just wanted to come and I had to introduce myself because you made such a change in our life. And it was like an emotional moment for me and a big aha, because at that time, as you know, marketing, and I started in the nineties before social media, if you were doing any kind of television ads or any of those things, guess what you had to have a big budget. And I, so I was used to working with, you know, big companies and, you know, one of my, the first big accounts I had was with Nestle. It was a fortune 100 company at that time. I think they still are in the fortune 100, but then from that, uh, doing good work and getting letters written from those, uh, companies and testimonials, we're able to do a lot of work in Silicon Valley here in California with a lot of big companies. And, you know, the crazy thing was, is that they would pat you on the back And you help them make more money or save money or whatever productions we were doing. And they'd say, good job. We'll pay you net 90. You know, like uh, we'll get that invoice out to you at some point. And then um, and then I would uh, in this moment, just from speaking on stage, I was able to make an impact in a person's life. And that pushed this this wave. and that's why, that's, I guess, why I was pointing out for you and I, we've done a lot of things in our life. Then you also have to listen to your heart. And I know for me, and I think this is why you're a part of this company, because we're both aligning with this next stage in our life of teaching. Yep. It's, uh, we take all of our experiences and share it with others, and then we can make an impact in more people's lives. And it's crazy. It came full circle for me, Todd. Now I'm not only, uh, helping the, you know, like I've helped mom and pops and all those types of businesses, but also coming back to the corporations and helping them now, because now it's not okay for many corporations to lose their best staff members or have these things happen because they don't have a good quality of life. And so we're seeing it open back. So it's almost like full circle Mm -hmm. and, and having a mix of, of, um, of those things. Hey there, I want to give you something really big. It's called Clear Path to Customers. It's the way that we get the right language to get the right client. I like to call them your wow clients so that you can have more results, more revenue, more raving fans, and more referrals. And I want to give this to you absolutely free. And all you have to do is go to stevenoplaton.com to check it out. Or you can look at the description here. We'll put the details there. As always, remember, choose gratitude and create freedom.